This is the Crafter Nook with Connie. Yep, I'm Connie. We have a diamond painting we're going to do tonight. And it is, let's see, the canvas size is 44 centimeters by 34. The picture is 40 by 30. It's my favorite size. And the reason it's my favorite size is because it's the easiest I have found to find a frame for. So, let's see, it came with the standard kit. We have a single and a nine placer, a boat with an opening, wax, a pair of tweezers. So we're going to set that aside. It is a full square. It has 27 colors and it does include the DMC. I love the fact that it came with an inventory sheet, which I have done. I've also got my drills kitted up, numbered, ready to go, and there is some beautiful colors here. Yeah, pretty red. See that pretty red? And let's see, here we have there's a green. And let's see. Oh, there we go. There's a pretty yellow. Anyway, they're all ready to go. So I'm gonna set this aside. And I believe I'm going to start down here in the bottom right hand corner. Turn my light on. And the drill field looks exceptionally clear. Alright, so let me go ahead and get some drills out here and get ready to go. And I will be right back. So we're still working on the Merry Christmas. And I've had a bit of a, an issue with this. It's a little weird. I uh, never had this issue with any before and what it is instead of having like a little river in the canvas I had a whole lake and it took me a bit to figure out what it was because it blended so well and I tried and tried to take a picture and that just did not work but down the center of the canvas it was well, there was lots of sticky there, but the it's a double-sided tape, and it wasn't adhered to the canvas itself. And I mean, I'm talking a huge area. Um, it was probably maybe an inch and a half wide, and it went from, oh, maybe, uh, let's see, maybe two inches down from the top, and two or three inches up from the bottom so it took like my whole hand area and i had already placed quite a few diamonds and they just they weren't looking right so what i had to do was very carefully press all around it get the adhesive to stick to the canvas itself and I did not take the diamonds off. I just pressed them really, really well. Anyway, it seems to have worked, and I haven't heard back from the company yet because I you know, wanted to let them know that this was really a poor, poor canvas. But anywho, it's working out rather nicely, and I'm just gonna continue on here. It's gonna be very pretty, and I will show you where I'm at in just a couple of minutes. <clears throat> and this section right in here, you can almost see a little bit of a river right there, but there was like a huge bubble where my whole hand is, this area. And I did all around the outside in the background, which was the three tens, and then I worked my way in, and that's when I discovered it. So. Anyway, it's looking good. I've got it all squished down where it belongs. So I'm back here, and as you can see, I jumped ahead again. I just can't help myself. 
So we're going to try and finish this up today and get it all framed. Well, we've got it all done. And I think it turned out pretty darn good. It's bright, it's cheerful. And I want to take this opportunity to thank everybody for joining me. I'm wishing you a Merry Christmas, the happiest of New Year's. There'll be more to come. Thank you.